So the last thing that we're going to do in CCNA 1 is talk a little bit about subnetting. Um, we've been able to classify our IP addresses um, either class A, B, or C. Um, typically in an educational setting or sometimes a small um, business, you utilize the class C address range. Um, you might also work with class B Typically in this class, I show you class A, but we don't actually work with class A because it can be really cumbersome. Given the time that we have left, um, it is my hope that you get a little bit of an understanding as to how to work with a class C address and be able to subnet that out to create additional networks that could be used um, to support network needs. So the first thing I want you to notice is over here on the left, um, I have a chart created. And in this chart, you're going to see that we utilize our binary. Um, we have the 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So that becomes the first line. And I really didn't write anything outside here. Um, if you want to, whoops, sorry, you could um, put a B just so you know that that's binary. That's entirely up to you. Um, then you're going to see the next row and you see where I have subs written. That stands for subnets. And so when you work with subnets, you can never have just one network. They go in pairs. Uh, the reason for this is because the first network in a range of network addresses is called the zeroth subnet. And by practice, you're not supposed to assign interfaces. You're not supposed to give them IP addresses out of the zeroth subnet. Therefore, you have to have two to be able to have one that's assignable. So when you work with subnets, everything doubles. So notice how I lined them up um, to go the 2 over the 128, then 4 over the 64, 8 over the 32, 16 over 16, 32 over 8, 64, 128, and 256. The reason it goes to 256 is because if you were to subtract the one that you can't use from that, it would allow you to have 255 usable potential networks. And so again, you add up your binary numbers and you have 255 bits. So there's the correlation between that. Notice it's also written in red, and that's because usually when you see subnets or networks indicated, that portion of the address can be shown in red. Then we need to do the same thing, only we double back for the hosts. So we start on the right side with 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. So this chart is something that I use all the time because I'm a visual learner and it helps me to understand visually how things are happening. So what I use or the technique and as instructors we're taught many different techniques to do this. I'm going to show you what I call the great divide chart. Kelvin always laughs at me because he's like what is this chart thing you're talking about? Because he says you should just learn to count in binary and it's easier. So as soon as I show you this method then I'm also going to show you the binary method, which you may find easier. Um, you know, you can go out and search on the internet for methods to subnet, and you might find something that's even easier than anything else that we talk about in class. So, I want to direct your attention over here to um, this problem, and you're going to notice that um, it says the number of needed subnets is 14. So we need to have 14 total subnets. And then usable hosts is the key. We need 14 usable hosts per subnet. So what I want to tell you is if I'm going to subnet this out, anything that is to the left of my great divide line is subnets. Anything to the right of my line is hosts. So if I wanted to make sure that I had 14 subnets, where would I draw the line to do that? I would draw it right here because, as you can see, in the subnet row, I have a 16. Yes, there are more than the 14 needed, but it's okay to have more. It's not okay to have less, so I couldn't have put the line here. Okay, so 
I know that I'm going to have 16 subnets that I can use, which meets the criteria of the 14 I need. I also need 14 usable hosts. Whenever you're working with your hosts, um, when you're dealing with the number of hosts per subnet, you have to subtract two addresses from your range because the first address in every range is what we call the subnet number and the last address in every range is called the broadcast address. And so these two addresses, the subnet number or the network address and the broadcast address cannot be assigned to any device in a network. So I take my um, 16 and if I just go ahead and I subtract 2, that leaves me with 14 left. So I have a total of 14. Um, now, does that meet my criteria? If I look over here, the first thing a problem is going to ask me is it's going to want me to be able to list the default subnet mask. So we just finished learning that for a class C address, so here's the network address they want me to use, 192.10.10.0. 192 is a class C address. Its default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So we don't know the custom subnet mask yet. That's what we're going to try to figure out. We do know the total number of subnets we have. We have a total of 16 subnets because that's to the left of the line. Anything to the left of that great divide is subnets. So we meet that criteria. So we can fill that in. Then we go take a look at the total number of hosts or the host addresses. So again, I'm, I'm talking total number at this point. So the total number um, of host addresses is 16. That's the total number. So we write that in there. But how many of those host address can I use? I can only use 14 because I have to subtract two. I subtract off the network address and I subtract off the broadcast address, which leaves me with 14, which then meets that criteria. Now, how many bits did I borrow to be able to do that? Well, if you come over here and take a look, these are all bits, right? And we learned in binary that if we use a bit, we turn it on. And if we don't use a bit, then it's off, which is a zero. So as I'm working with this problem, I used one, two, three, four bits. And at that point, the last four bits are going to be used to fulfill my host addresses. So I used four bits. Now I can solve or figure out what my custom subnet mask is. I'm working in the last octet here of a class C address. So I know my first three octets because the class C, the only octet that is the host portion of the address is the last octet. So that's the octet I'm working out of. So that means my first octet is 255, .255 .255. Those are the network octets in that address. But how do I come up with this 240? Well, all I do is I add up the binary value of my bits. So 128 plus 64 is 192, plus 32 is 224, plus 16 is 240. So I, my last octet is a 240. Now, they show you the exact same thing basically right here in this particular problem. And so they're just going through and adding things up longhand. And remember they did subtract the two because you cannot assign a network address or a broadcast address to an interface on a router or a switch. Okay, so I also told you that at the end of this, I would show you how to do the same problem only using binary. So when you, when you do binary, you double. Again, we only have eight bits that we can use out of a class C address. If I want to be able to solve for my 14 subnets, how many bits am I going to need to do that? So if I start counting 2, 4, 8, 16, I need to have four bits because if I come over here, 2 to the 4 equals 16. So that meets my subnet criteria for my networks. Now how many bits do I need to be able to solve for this host portion, which is again 14 
with the key being usable bits. So 2, 4, 8, 16. Again, I need 4. So 2 to the 4 gives me 16. If I subtract 2, I still have 14 for my hosts. So what I want you to um, pay attention to here is right here, these two superscript numbers cannot equal or cannot exceed more than 8. Sorry, that's a bad 8. But they cannot exceed more than 8. Why? Because that's all the bits you have to work with in the last octet. So that's all you have to be able to work with. So I've used all eight and you would need to use all of your bits because we're working with what's called classful subnetting. So again, you can either use the great divide method. Let me just pick a different color. If I want to make 14 and 14, remember anything to the left of the line is the subnet. Anything to the right of the great divide line is your hosts. You always have to subtract 2, which gives you 14. So I have 16 total subnets. I have 16 total hosts, but I have only 14 usable hosts. And then when I'm going to figure out what my custom subnet mask is for the network, I'm going to add up the value of my bits. So again, even looking at this right here, I'm going to add up the 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16, which is the four bits, which gives me a 240 for the classful um, subnetting for the custom subnet mask.